Hello and welcome to another episode of the Tejano Traveler. I'm your host Wally and today we are taking a look at the highlights of visiting New Orleans, which is one of my favorite cities. There's lots to do. The food is amazing and there's plenty of sights to see. Here we are in Bourbon Street. Let's just get that out of the way. It's fun to go there at night, be silly, have fun, but always remember to drink responsibly. It looks pretty different during the day. Also, there's no shade, so it's hot, so watch out for that. On the far reaches of the French market, French Quarter is a French market where you can go and have some pretty cool food when they're open. New Orleans is also home to the National World War II Museum, which is huge and expansive, so definitely spend at least half a day there. And that's cutting it short. There's plenty to do there. Plenty to see, plenty to learn. It's amazing what our troops have gone through. And they show a lot of memorabilia and a lot of weapons and a lot of things that were important to World War II from the Pacific side to the European side. It's all just amazing and really well done. So definitely go check it out. Also, if you get a chance to go to the Audubon Zoo, the grounds are amazing. They have a lot of statues, and you get to see some of the animals when it's not too hot. I guess I went there in the summer, and yeah, poor kitty was struggling with all the heat. But some of the animals they have are pretty cool, like this rhino and this alligator. Also, they have some albino alligators. I think it's an albino. I don't know. There's something scientific about it as to why it's white. But if you get a chance to also get to City Park, you can do several activities. You can hike, you can take a walk, you can see some of the old oak trees. There are over 600 of them and they're huge. You can take a swan boat out for a paddle ride. I myself really like seeing these oak trees. I used to think the oak trees in Texas were huge, but here in New Orleans, they're beyond gigantic. And there's also a free sculpture park where you can go walk around take a look at some awesome sculpture work and admire the work of some of these people and what they do and how they do it. They have different types. There's modern, there's traditional, there's experimental, there's geometric, there's every type of art you can actually think of and it's out here just for you so you can admire as you take a walk through the gardens. It's amazing. Definitely check it out. And right next to it is the New Orleans Museum of Art. It's in a pretty cool building. And as soon as you're in there, you're greeted with the works of El Greco and some other great artists. They got stuff from old European masters, old European classics, through all the different types of art movements to graphic arts um, pretty much every era of art is represented here and there is Marie Antoinette before she got her head cut off and our standard portrait of George Washington comes from this one coming to New Orleans you definitely need to check out a few of the cemeteries here one of my favorites is the Metairie Cemetery, which is a drive through cemetery. You don't really need to get off to look at the tombs. You just drive around, get a feel for the place, and look at some history and enjoy the different styles of tombs that they used to have and kind of fantasize about what yours would look like. I also took a Notches Riverboat cruise on the Mississippi. The Mississippi is one of the most important rivers in the whole world, and it was kind of nice to just get on the boat like they used to back in the old days and cruise on it. The river is a lot bigger than you think it is, and it's a working river, so there's definitely shipping going on at the same time, but it's pretty cool to look at it. Plus, it was a jazz cruise, so I got to hear some old-timers do their jazz thing and enjoy some drinks while I was on there and some food and just enjoy the the breeze that was out in the river. 
And of course, you have to go to Jackson Square. That's where it all began and everything. So you get to go to the cathedral, check it out. Marvel at the religious artwork in the inside. The building itself is pretty cool, and they have two museums right next to to them. Um, you go in there, you can learn about the history of Mardi Gras and where it all comes from and where it's going and everything, and also a little bit about the Katrina hurricane experience, which was pretty harrowing for a lot of people. If you're going to visit one cemetery, in New Orleans, you should definitely visit the St. Louis Cemetery, number one. Make sure you go with a guided tour. You cannot just show up and go in there and check it out. So make sure you check in online and you'll be set up with a tour guide. And it'll be nice and fun and you get to learn a little bit about New Orleans history and about some of the death that has occurred here. Definitely a cool place to go to. I myself love looking at the streetcars and riding them. I wish I had a bit more time to take some streetcars and just randomly go around the city, but I was on a tight schedule. And there's Canal Street, which is one of the widest streets in the world. And definitely you have to check out Cafe Du Monde because everybody does it. There I'm trying to finish six of them. And I got through five, so it's a pretty good thing. But they're very powdery. And of course, you can't go to New Orleans and not try all the different Cajun foods. Jambalayas, po' boys, red beans and rice, crawfish, and my favorite, muffalettas. I love muffalettas, but I hate olives, which is weird. Anyways, that's my last po' boy in New Orleans. It was sad. And here's Oak Alley Plantation. Um, yes, it was a plantation. Yes, there's slavery, so I refuse to... Um, romanticize it, but the oak trees in front of it are pretty cool, which is what I came here for. Boo mansions. Anyways, um, look at that alley of oaks right there. It's pretty awesome. Anyways, I hope you've been enjoying these videos of New Orleans. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment so I can see how you guys are doing. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.